Oh, that's a keeper, of course. That's a good 30. There you go. something different today. I drove 90 miles to come here. Yes, you heard me right, 90 miles. I've been driving all morning and we're at the Ponce in the jetty trying to catch something. I got the inlet side and I have the beach side as well. Lots of boats out there by the end of the jetty on the rocks. They're of course looking for snook and redfish. We can't go that far, it's high tide right now, but we're gonna try our best. I'm gonna use my gacha lure, gonna use live shrimp, and hope for some good fish. You know, I never come here. I came here, I think, two years ago once, while we're at the beach this side, which we love this beach right here by Ponce Inlet. And there wasn't that much activity. And so far, I ask everybody here, they say nothing, just a couple bites and no keepers, nothing bunch of anglers out but I hope I made the trip for the reason I'm hoping to catch a good keeper fish so let's go Sean what do we got snapper oh Margaret right could keep that one so that was a good hit too that's a good market, guys. Good eating, delish, very nice. That's our first fish of the day. A little small. Yeah, I'll let him go. Anything 10 inch? Yeah, I want a little bigger. There we go. See, buddy. Oh, neighbor got something. I think it's a oh red. My. Oh, nice snook. Hey, hey, can you yeah, of course, of course. Hold on, let me put this here. Oh my God. You want me to get the net? Man. There we go. Oh, that's a nice snook. Oh, you got your net longer. Okay, let me help you with that one. Oh man, that's a beautiful snook. On a shrimp, live shrimp. I bring it. Bring. Oh, yeah? Hey, you, re you reel it in, I, I go down and get it. Okay, there you go. Oh, you keep going, man. Oh, man. Oh, that's a keeper, of course. That's a good 30. There you go. There you go. Right on the side of the mouth. Oh, too big, man. No, it might be 32. Oh, man. Check it. I think it's 32. No, that's too big. You think so? Yeah. Well, let's measure it. Come. Oh man, they're running, guys. <laughs> oh, that was so cool. Got him on the rocks. He let go and then got it off. No, Maybe a little too big. Let's see. Yeah, oh, yeah, I think it's too big. Way too big. Oh man, what a beautiful snook, guys. Look at that. Whoo, that's an inlet snook. Let's measure that bad boy. Oh, yeah. Perfect. Hooks that too. Right on the side of the mouth. Uh, Hopefully. Let's see, I think 32, man. You think 32? I think so too. Oh my God. Look at that, yeah. 32 exactly. <laughs> That's the old one, it will shrink, it. that'll be okay. Yeah, it'll shrink an inch yeah. at least. Good job, man, look at that. Keeper oh, snook, guys. Right on the jetty. Oh man, perfect hook set too. 32 exactly. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> God, it shrink it out a little bit. Yeah, it shrinks an inch. Man, that's awesome. There you go. You know Thank you, man. No problem, man. Beautiful snook, guys. Look at that. Look at that. 
Wow. That's your first look, huh? Gorgeous. Uh, no, I got a lot. All right. All right, guys. After that 32 inch keeper snook, we're doing exactly what we always do free line, split shot, live shrimp, hook through the head, number three circle hook, throw it out there on the inlet side and let it fall. You don't want it to come too close to the jetty, then all the rockfish bait fish they're gonna grab it so you just kind of let it loose let the current take the shrimp go down a little and right after the mid column towards the bottom that's the hit zone for snook and redfish so you have a small window before the current brings the uh, bait back here so let's see what happens I just moved down here, less current, over there by the top of the jetty, oh my god, the current got crazy, as soon as you cast it, it takes your line, unbelievable, like five miles away, and you can't put too much weight because the bottom is all rocks, and you're gonna get snagged and broken off, so I moved here, it's less current, less deep as well but i'm hoping for some passing by redfish or snook my neighbor got that 32 inch snook man it was crazy what a fish right on the dot 32 it was incredible so but other than that nobody else got anything on the beach side uh, one whiting that was it so it's been very slow for everybody else but my neighbor you know 32 inch snook it was just passing by he got lucky as soon as he dropped the bait, he got on. It was crazy because if you wait a little longer, the curve will take it all the way down. So, but anyways, let's see what happens here. Beautiful day though, man. Well, a nice day to be out. Let's get a fish. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this is it. Oof, what a day, incredibly hot still we're in mid-october almost it's 90 degrees weather and the water temperature is 84. i can't wait to weather to cool down water to cool down that's when the good fishing starts the fish moves a lot especially pompanos but all in all i mean i got that uh, 32 inch snook on camera and i caught that fish technically if you think about it, I hold the rod and I reeled it in into the net. So I had the rod in my hand. Technically, I caught that fish. I put it into the net. So anyways, I'm joking, guys. <clears throat> all in all, man, he got a beautiful fish, 32 inch snook. He was lucky. He was the only angler out there caught a fish, keeper fish. I had a couple lane snappers that were too short couple uh, mangrove snappers I got them margay I mean I didn't keep none of that it was small but nothing good keeper like the redfish and snook but he got one they're running out there you have to be out far on the inlet so with the kayak with the boat I'm sure you'll catch a lot but uh, right by the inlet area it's tough you gotta be lucky you know they have to be passing by at the moment you drop your bait so all in all had a great day long drive back home please tune in for the next video i'm gonna be going to playa beach hoping for good weather good winds and good conditions and try to catch a keeper pompano so until then thanks for watching i'll see you on the next video guys see ya